All right, so I'm going to show you guys my method of making like beam rings, um, just the the type of rings you can put on your NPCs and stuff, or like zones and stuff. Um, so what I do is I get a part and I make the part size one one one. I add two attachments in that part, so it's going to be attachment zero and attachment one, and then I add two beams. It's going to be beam one and then. Uh, beam two, right? For the attachment, I I start by uh, getting the radius so I can know how big this circle is going to be. I want it to have a radius of uh, ten. Um, you want to make sure you move it. Uh, you move it by the radius on the z axis. So inside of the attachment, you want to go to transform. Or no, you want to go to the properties. Look at the C frame property. You want to change the position property of C-frame to 10 or whatever your radius is and you want to do that for both um, attachments if so since I put 10 on the attachment 0 you want to put negative 10 on the attachment 1 after that you want to attach the beams to the attachments so I'm going to start from beam 1 I'm going to attach I'm going to set the attachment 0 property to attachment 0 attachment 1 property to attachment 1 same thing for beam two. So attachment zero property to attachment zero and attachment one property to attachment one. And then after that, we can calculate the curve size. So the way I calculate the curve size, I multiply the radius by um, the constant 1.314. That just gave me uh, satisfactory results for the curve. So in this case, in our case, um, my uh, radius is 10. So I'm gonna multiply 10 times 1.314. Uh, and that's going to give me 13.4. So I'm going to start by changing the curve, the curve size on beam one. I'm going to do the first one as uh, a positive 13.14, and then the second one's going to be a negative 13.14. And then I'll do the same thing for beam two, but I'm going to flip it. So I'm going to do negative first, and then positive after. And then there you go. You should get like a circular type shape. It might not be the best circle, but I think it's pretty decent. Um, if you guys have a better way of doing this, please uh, comment that down below in the comment section to help everyone else out. And I hope this tutorial was able to, this quick tutorial was able to help you guys.